All right, thank you for watching, and I want to thank Tina for passing this on. This was a pretty good catch. Very interesting. Yes, indeedy. Rubik's Cube floats down the Hudson. Giant inflatable Rubik's Cube posed next to the Statue of Liberty Friday morning, part of a weekend-long celebration of the 70th birthday of its inventor, Erno Rubik. 70 is the completion of things. Funny that the cube would pose next to the Statue of Liberty because it's all the same thing. Saturn, all that crap. One of the fallen ones, the fallen one. It does it. The light bearer. It's it's all the same crap. It's funny that it would pose next to the Statue of Liberty. Gotta love that. The photo op was organized by the Liberty Science Center in Jersey Center, Jersey City, which is holding an interactive exhibition of the cube in honor of its 40th, because four sides of the square, which represents a cube. 40th anniversary, Mr. Rubik, Rubik turns 70 on Sunday. So I just thought this was pretty interesting because they mentioned that 70 in there a couple times. And I just saw this video that apparently this took place in January of this year, but I completely missed it. And this little speech that uh, little Christine Lagarde, head of the IMF, right, the International Monetary Fund, right, it's pretty funny these these people these 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 rich dummies these quote unquote elitists they do absolutely believe in numerology um, black magic celestial alignments all this stuff and she's gonna tell you. 2014. Now I'm going to test you um, numerology skills by asking you to think about the magic seven. Okay. Most of you will know that seven is quite a number in all sorts of themes, religions, and uh, I'm sure that you can compress numbers as well. All right, and so this skips through. Let's get to the next part here. We're going to carry on. I'll put this below because this is as loud as I can make it. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. So, if we think about 2014, all right, I'll, I'm just giving you 2014, you drop the zero, 14, two times seven. So, and then this basically goes on to say that they're expecting some sort of economic event this month. Cause the seven was referring to July. I don't know. I just I just saw this video first and it was funny and then I, I seen this article and it mentions 70 a couple times in the cube and I just, with the, with the super moon being over this weekend and all that stuff that's going on in the Middle East, I just find it suspect and just think it's bad news. Could be way off base, absolutely, because I've got no proof. Just just a hunch, that's all. So, uh, one more thing for fun, because I just realized, it, realized this not that long ago. On our little box fans in the house, you got Saturn on those, too. you got to love this stuff, man. I mean, you can't deny it. It's absolutely everywhere around us. It's, it's really, it's unbelievable. It's quite the, I tell you, it's just... One heck of a world you wake up to. It's like looking at everything through a new set of eyes, no doubt, for sure. So thanks to all my, my supporters out there. Thanks to my subs. Thanks to everybody who stands with me. Appreciate it. Proud to stand with each and every one of you. All right, thanks.